a Aaron right now. Hi, everybody. We're in beautiful Savannah, Georgia, in Emmett Park at the moment. Thought I'd show you some of the sights. Now, this park is steeped in history. It was formerly the Strand and Irish Green, and it was renamed in 1902 for the Irish poet Robert Emmett for the centennial of his death. Now, although he had never set foot in Savannah, Savannah has a very proud Irish heritage, and each year their St. Patrick's Day Parade is actually the biggest in the nation next to Boston itself. At the easternmost part of the park is a monument here to Dr. Noble Jones. He was a physician, he was a Revolutionary War hero, a delegate from Georgia to the Continental Congress, and this also serves to celebrate and recognize the Georgia Medical Association with its uh, founding in 1804 is the oldest in the country. Fun time in Savannah? Yes, except for the fact that I'm being baked by the sun. I'm sorry. I guess I'm very I should, pale. I should get Lori to a safer spot. <laughs> Savannah has such a, a rich history from former pirates that called here home and the colonial power that it once was, the fact that it survived damage uh, really at all because it surrendered without a shot to Sherman's forces. A lovely place to be. I love Spanish moss so much. The Native Americans essentially called it tree hair. The French would name it after the Spanish. The Spanish would name it after the French, but the Spanish took. Several famous movies and television shows have been made here in Savannah. Probably the most famous would be parts of Forrest Gump, as well as Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, the Kevin Spacey movie about kind of the eccentric side of Savannah that you would definitely see come out. And several CW TV shows have been done here as well. Now, as we make it to the, the final point in Emmett Park here on this easternmost side, there is other things to see in Emmett Park. We're showing you just a glimpse of it. But here are some of the old anchors being that this was right beside of the pier. This was right beside the water. About as far up as you could go for many a time. And here is the light itself put here in 1856. Pretty massive. A really cool piece of the park and even more anchors. And you know me, I have to explore a little bit off the beaten path, so I came across this pretty cool home that they are restoring. This is gonna be turned into an Airbnb type place, and you're actually seeing that more and more from some of the homes here that are closer to downtown. Uh, there is a location next door here that they're already using for rentals across the street it's the same thing this is a home from 1917 so it's cool to see them fixing it up and it becoming an income producing property well that's just a brief glimpse of savannah there'll be more videos where we go visit some of the historical sites thanks for watching everybody